Have you not got that yet? You're not there yet. No. All right. Carry on. Then. I'm putting it, my notes are unintelligible. James said he's excited. <laughs> yeah, than mine. <laughs> James said he's excited to send Brandy home. He's finally speaking up because Brandy's on the block. Finally, he found his voice because Brandy was on the block and he was in a position of power over her. Do you know what I mean? Get some balls, James. And then the others were going, oh, yeah, we shut Brandy up. Hardly. And then James said, I shut her up. And then Brandy, oh, that was it. Brandy was doing something in the other room and she overheard the others talking about her. Do you remember? No. Yeah, and she, and, um... (laughs) Brandy went up to Marissa and went, I heard all you guys talking about me. And Marissa's like, oh, we weren't talking about you. And Brandy said, yeah, you were. And Marissa said, I was just listening to what the others were saying. Uh, I didn't say anything I like... I do remember this. Yeah. But... but it was James who was slagging off saying they shut Brandy up. And then Brandy said, get the fuck out of here to Marissa. And then, Mar- and then Marissa went in the other room to the others and she went, Brandy just yelled, yelled at, me. at me. I never get she yelled at. She likes to say people yell yeah. at her. I never get yell. yelled at. Well, get on Twitter. Someone will yell at you now. Um, and then Marissa said, I've spent the last three weeks trying to keep her here. How are you, fuck? And that was it. That was all that bit. Why have you got none of that bit? That was quite interesting. Um, I think, uh, again, I might have watched this episode in the shower. <laughs> the shower? <laughs> yeah. How can you what, hear something in the shower? Exactly, you can't. That's why I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I was drunk and you were in the shower. This is helpful. No, but I do connect it to like a quite a large speaker that I've got. So you can hear in the most shower, of that it. shower, that sounds dangerous. You've seen Final Destination, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. They're on a bus, aren't they? It can't stop. No, there's someone dies in the shower. Is that speed? <laughs> speed. Isn't that called speed? That bus can't. They yeah, can't slow speed. the bus down. Yeah, that ain't final destination. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So then the veto. Ah, uh, action figures. What did they call it? M- I put merged face. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Big Brother toys have mixed up the features on the action figures. Rosh. <laughs> Rosh. <laughs> Gaz has got a wrinkle, Rosh. <laughs> Ross can watch it from um, oh, yeah, the HOH room. Food, and there was tons they, of food. Yeah. They even had like wraps from like some sort of wrap shop mm. down the road. It had a logo on wrap it. Wrap shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good alliance name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but do you know, did you notice they said that this competition took place in a top secret location oh now to me it looked like a local multi-story car park because oh. it had like concrete pillars and stuff did you not notice oh, that no i yeah. thought it was just in the back garden no it was oh. like a makeshift warehouse they'd made into a task mm. area but it must have just been in the back garden right no i had this i'm telling you i had concrete pillars hmm. permanent feature interesting so Ivor Isa said she didn't want to win the veto she wanted to throw it um, and then after she lost, she came up to the room and was plotting with Ross, going, don't you want to sit next to me in final two? And Ross was like, how do we do it? <laughs> and Marissa said, are your knives sharpened? <laughs> <laughs> um, Mark didn't even get one right. Brandy didn't get one right either. Mark thought that Meta's nose was Chuck's nose. <laughs> he said, it looks like it's been broken a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mark didn't even complete one. That was pathetic. Brandy didn't either. Harry couldn't recognise her own mouth. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Ar- hold on, I've put Harry won altogether. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, even though she didn't recognise her own mouth. She must have got it in the end, mm. but yeah, at first she didn't. So, Harry could take herself off the block, basically. Was she on the block? With What's Brandy? With Brandy on there, yeah. Yeah, I think she is. Brandy said her only hope now is if the house gates want house gates house guests <laughs> yeah. want to get rid of Omarosa because mm. she's a bigger target than Brandy mm. but that was never going to really happen was it no um, James was being cautious about pissing off Omarosa though why mm. James too scared to put Omarosa if I've put but, yeah. Mark, but James wasn't HH no Mark but maybe was. it's Mark's his puppet is it and then Mark said this is big brother not, not big, big homie, homie. <laughs> um what, so, did you, what did you think of Ari's camouflage trousers and netted top combination? I'm giving it an eek. Was it like, <laughs> did it have like silver geometric shapes that no. were interlocking? Is no, that, a that different sounds week? nice. Is that a different week? This is like fish nets. Oh, no. Not I didn't good. pick it's up like on that. It's like all saints meets hooker. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a nice look. Um, James, wait. Ari used the POV, right? Mm-hmm. On herself. Mark put up Marissa as a replacement as she'd never been on the block before and it was time for her to take her turn. Should have took her out there yeah, and then. Yeah, should have. 
James thinks his best day in the house will be the day that Brandy goes because mm. he can't stand her insulting him. Brandy said, I have a secret weapon and that's my mouth. I put, it's taking a hell of a long time to get to the double eviction. There's a lot of preamble in the first part. Yeah, I felt that. Um, speeches. Marissa... They kept going about there being a live vote, a live video ceremony, a live yeah, so get on with it. And Judy was like, if you hadn't noticed, this show is live. Yeah. <laughs> we know it's because you stumble over every fucking word. Yes, yeah, you did as well, really Not badly We can talk, but we haven't presented a prime time show. <laughs> <laughs> so Marissa's speech said she's... Oh, a cancer survivor. A cancer survivor. What's that got to do with the price of fish? Um... <laughs> Brandy said, I love a lot of you. And but not I... everyone, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I hope people see the softer side of you. Softer side of who? Of them or mm, of her? Fuck nice. Do you want some more drink? No, because it's making me have the hiccups. Um, <laughs> how cold is it in the house? Everyone's wearing coats. How Ari... cold is this out? <laughs> Ari was the only person. Get into that blanket there. <laughs> Ari was the only person to save Brandy. That was nice that she still say brandy even though oh, the whole, whole house was going against her. I Marissa took the button at squash to the dye room when she voted. <laughs> That's Brandy's boyfriend, you know. That's showman's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they didn't really... She clearly no. was doing some sexual acts with that yeah, button at squash um, and they yeah. cut them out. Yeah, no so shit. So PC, isn't it, Big Brother Australia? <laughs> I mean, America. And <laughs> <laughs> um, Sonia Kruger. I've... Oh, all right. Uh, she's racist but never mind was she racist she said something shit about someone Ter- terrorist or something I don't know terrorist <laughs> okay <laughs> oh, oh. <Key> enemies close <laughs> <laughs> um do you think that the interview chairs that they sit on are posher than normal I feel like normally they're just like little stools and now they're like a little velvet like a high chair yeah like mm. a velvet yeah, chair yeah you might be right there I think so little swivel stool but then I think we might be confusing it with a candor maybe they got them from the brick <laughs> <laughs> you never know it's tired um, Brandy said she thought she had a final two with Ross Brandy did look good in her outfit didn't she when she went yeah she did actually suit. she looked really good um, she said she wouldn't have taken Ari to the end because she would have won oh did she yeah well that's what I've got written down that's controversial but it does make sense mm. I suppose thing is Brandy can win against anyone could she mm. Could or couldn't? Couldn't. No, probably not. Uh, Brandy said, Ross bribed me with free alcohol for the rest of our <laughs> friendship. I think that was about Ross. Mm. And she said, I'm, it was. I'm 45, and if I could shut my mouth, I would have done it by now. <laughs> 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 That's good. She don't know 45. Um, and she said, mm, uh, Doesn't oh, she? I, I don't think so. I feel like she's gone too far with the face. Yeah, she, she doesn't has. look. She, has. she can't talk most of the time. But were you surprised to see Brandy looking quite emotional and breaking down? Yes, it was quite actually. Moving. She was really sad to go, wasn't she? Mm. And she said, I'm coming out of here with friends, so I win. And I thought, oh. Yeah. I think she's got more out of this Big Brother experience than our Big Brother, don't you? Oh, God. Miles. Miles more. She didn't make any friends in that house, did she? Maybe Chad. <laughs> no, she hated Chad. <laughs> um, so have you got any more Brandy's interview? Uh, just the last thing that Julie said. Mm. One last thing. I dare you to say something bad about me. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. She didn't, though. And James said in his goodbye message to Brandy, I've enjoyed absolutely nothing about you and I'm ecstatic you went. Ouch. Mm. What a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely guy, though. Do not do anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so then there was a competition which I could not make head nor tail ah, of. the auction one. Big Brother auction. What the fuck was going well, on there? all the house guests were sequestered <laughs> in separate rooms. Right. <laughs> And basically, they had like all these different artworks that were themed around certain artworks. things. Now, my favourite one was Breath of Omarosa, <laughs> as represented by a red inhaler, which I mm. thought was quite insensitive. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't tweak that at the time. <laughs> they had those rubber ducks, they had an mm. HOH sign, they put them all around the house. Mm. Basically, they go into the living room and they're there on the wall, six of them. Mm. They've got to find them in the rooms and work out which one's not identical to the one in the living room. Yeah. You know what the problem was? They didn't show us them for long enough, so we couldn't really I play couldn't along. Difference. We couldn't play along. No. We should have had them up in the corner, or at least got to look at them for a minute beforehand, yeah, in thirty that's true. seconds. Because it was like, what colour is this? I don't fucking know. No. So when they pressed the button, it wasn't like, oh, so and so's got it right. It was like, I've no fucking clue. It all Boring. seemed to be over in a flash, though, right? Yeah. Was... Ross was like that before you knew it, and he got it right. It was lame. I did not like that competition. Wait. Do not want. What well, I thought Ross won it. It says I've written as a tie between James and Omarosa. Omarosa won it. Oh. <laughs> what did Ross win then? It was real quick. 
Was that another one? Oh. What do... What? Oh, fuck that. Never mind. It was a James and Omarosa tiebreaker. Omarosa won. Who was she nom? She nominated Ross and Marissa. Wait, I got them mixed up. What? It ain't that artwork one. Oh. It's not the running around looking at the artwork. It's something else. What is it? It's like about an auction. Yeah, this was the artwork one. Was it? I think so. <laughs> I didn't. I just wrote. I can't work out this comp. We don't know what the things are, so we can't play along. I've written. So it is that. It is that. I don't think it is. Well, I think what the, is it then? Because Ross won that artwork one, and I don't even know what it was. But the Breath of Omarosa oh, was on. represented by Red Inhaler. Omarosa won. Oh, they Who looked. She was, I think they, oh, they had to watch Ross won the some, veto. They had to watch something, didn't they? We said, oh, this sold for this much grand, that sold for 25 grand. My notes are about the HRH, can't work out this comp. The next thing says, James and Omarissa tiebreaker, Omarissa won, who will she norm? She normed Ross and Marissa, veto, can't work out what's going on as yeah, usual. that's outrageous. Ross won. Yeah, that's outrageous. <laughs> so, that's I, the one. All I've written is, can't work out the HRH, can't work out the veto. Well, what was mind, the cause... What was the difference between the two? What was the other one? I think the first one was like... <laughs> Watch this video. It's an auction-based hilarious thing where we've taken the piss out of the housemates. But it's like, what? oh, oh, Breath of Omarosa's Red Inhaler sold for Yeah, time, I remember that one. So what was the other one? So it's like, true or false, this this sold for this much or whatever. So they were both about that stuff. The next one was this art one where mm. it was a spot the difference between the ones in the living room to around the house. They had to run back to the garden, to oh. the podium, when they found the one that wasn't the same. In the other room, okay, I have room. no recollection of that. Whatsoever. Anyway, it was absolutely <laughs> outrageous. <laughs> yeah. Both of those competitions were completely unintelligible. So, why did Ari say no? Okay, okay, okay. It's the veto. <laughs> okay, meeting. it's all right, guys. Gas has worked out what's going on. It was on. the veto meeting, and Ross saved himself. So. Omarosa had to put somebody up. Now mm-hmm. I said mm. Ari, obviously. Mm. I don't know why I thought that. No. And then she's like, my replacement nomination is James. And I was shocked. But hadn't she already Were made you shocked? A, yeah, because hadn't she already made a deal with James not to put him up earlier in the week? Or was that a different Poss- HRH? Possibly. Because I thought it was going to be Ari for sure. Oh, yeah. Cause, no, because that was when she won that thing sitting on the wall that she promised not to put James up. Yeah, Whereas was this was when she won something before. I can't fucking remember. So, oh, yeah. So I was thinking, oh, we shouldn't put James up there. But now I'm like, oh, that was a different week. Not week, <laughs> but a different little set of three Whatever days. Whatever that is, yeah. So fuck James. Bye bye. Go bye. Why did I expect Ari then? Ari. I expected to put Ari up. Omaris and Ari are whispering to each other. James looks beleaguered. James said they can't beat Marissa and he's open to oh, new deals. He was right, they couldn't. Marissa said that James would beat them all in the comps. Mm, true. True. Ari voted to evict James. Mark voted to evict Marissa. Ross voted to evict James. Um, so at least James got one vote, I guess, from Mark. Do you know what I didn't say, actually, during Brandy's eviction? Go on. I, I didn't like how eager James was to get that front door for her. Uh, he stood there, like, getting the door, like, here you go, Brandy. He might as well go. kicked her out. And, but wasn't that poetic justice that he yes. went straight after yes. her? And he looked so furious. <laughs> and it, when Omarosis was deciding who to put, put up, I was just like, James, 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 James. And then she did. It was good. Um... He was bright red. You could tell he was fuming. Yeah. His little ears were all tucked Bent up, over tucked under, that cat. Up under his cap. Disgusting. I put James, take your cap off when you're talking to Julie. <laughs> Show some respect. <laughs> um, and then James, and then did Julie say James had a crush on Brandy? Oh, uh, he said that. Um, yeah, she does. <laughs> Didn't she say that after the house, maybe you'll, like, date Brandy yeah. after the show? And he was like, oh. <laughs> He was like, I don't think so. Uh, he was actually sweating. You could see that mm. sweat dripping off of him. He looked furious. He had to go out in his little leggings, his little shorts. Oh, he's had James Maslow, um, what's it called? Oh, that the Maslow top, army. Baseball top on and cap. Cringe. And then he goes, oh, well, at least I beat Brandy by half an hour. Oh, no. He said, at <laughs> least I beat Brandy, and I said, by half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Not even half an hour. <laughs> yeah. And then Julie dropped the bomb that the final person will evict two housemates. Oh, yeah, the most powerful HOH in BB history. Ooh. Anything else to say about James? Um, lovely guy. Check out his album. <laughs> Check out his new, <laughs> single, his new single, Flying. Was well, it Flying? I, I think it was. I don't know. <laughs> so that was it for the main... Big time douche. Yeah. Big time pussy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Should have got to think of a title for this thing. Yeah. Oh my god! Let's do this recap episode quickly. Oh, the recap was really good. Mm. Now I was pissed off last season when we had to watch a recap episode because it was mm. crap.